Hi YouTube family, welcome into my Sephora VIB recommendations video that starts this Friday, November 1st. I will make sure that I leave all the information down below in the description box because I do know that there is a difference in the amount of discount that you're going to get depending on what level you are and I also know there are certain times or certain dates that each tier can shop so I want to make sure I show that to you. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting please consider subscribing I make all kinds of makeup beauty and beauty videos I try to do them at least three times a week sometimes it's two because of my help but I do makeup reviews tutorials I love my dupes videos that I do tips and tricks all that kind of good stuff so let's get into the recommendations I'm going to scoot over here just a little bit because every now and again I'm gonna be throwing up a picture here that um, some things that I have kind of on my wish list that I am hoping to get the first thing that I want to talk about is Sol de Janeiro they have the boom boom cream and they have the Brazilian crushed crush body fragrance mist they have one right now that comes with the shower these two the shower gel and i think the lip balm and i just really love this fragrance it's amazing and to get it and that kind of a value is really good now these are full size i believe those other two are the mid-size ones not not the just trial size one but the mid-size ones so it's going to be a little bit smaller than these but these have lasted me such a long time and they are really yummy smells you just feel like you're back on the beach and not only that the cream is really good I haven't tried the body wash and I haven't tried the lip balm so I'm gonna think about getting that set myself so kind of excited about that the next thing I want to show you is that benefit they're real this is my holy grail uh, mascara for going underneath my eyes because it never smudges and it's almost like a waterproof mascara and I will use this also as a topper on top of any other mascara that I use in order for it to not flake or not smudge during the day it just you know almost makes it waterproof and so I love this mascara and I love that they come in a duo this kind this time of year because it cuts down on the cost so much and then also if you haven't tried the mascaras from Benefit there is a trio now this big trio came from Ulta and I didn't see it on the Sephora site but I do know that their trial size one of all of these is on the Sephora site which I thought if you've never tried these before is a really great way to dip your toe into benefits mascaras because you might not like them as much as I do I would say that they're real and the curl one are my favorite bad gal bang gives a really good um like voluminous look to my lashes which i do like and then i'll use the look they're real over top of it so these mascaras are ones that i do appreciate and i do use a lot and i would recommend that you get the little trial size if you've never tried them before to see if they work for you i have a couple things that are exclusively from the sephora collection that i highly recommend in every single video that i talk about contouring and I talk about you know wanting to make your face look slimmer that is the Sephora this one is the colorful contour and it's in the color second chance now when you guys look at this you're gonna think that is the most muddy dark color that you could ever imagine and you're right it really truly is but when you think about what we need when we contour and I'm not talking about just bronzing bronzing is kind of the brightening up of our face the buffing all over the place I'm talking about specific contour where you want to create cheekbones you want to get rid of a double chin you want to bring that high forehead down you want to make it recede by making it look dark and that's what this does you can go heavy-handed if you have a darker complexion you can go really light if you have a paler complexion like I do but this is so amazing for me I've actually had this for about a year I'm about to hit pan on it I use this every single time I do contour also only from the Sephora collection is one of my favorite things this is the voluminous plumping lip gloss this There's is such a juicy pretty lip gloss you guys it has that little bit of the cooling effect Effect on your lips when you get it on but until you try this you can't imagine how plump and juicy your lips look with it on and it doesn't have a color as you can see right here it just has the shine to it so it works with any color that you wear on your lips and if you're one that is wanting to get away from all of the matte that is going on in in the lipstick formulas because I can't wear those because they make me look older they dry my lips out 
make me look older than I am. And I, I reach for a gloss almost every time I put a lipstick on. And this one is one I reach for a lot. And this is my second one and I'm like halfway through it. So I will be repurchasing that one for sure. Now this is not the packaging to it. But I want to tell you guys that from Clinique, they have a trio of a blush palette of their cheek pops. And one is in this color, which is Pansy Pop. And there is another color, which is Heather Pop. And then they have another color that's a little bit lighter. These are the only two colors from the cheek pops that I have in my makeup collection. And the reason is, is because these are my absolute favorites. They are so pretty. And this formula is really a nice formula it doesn't go on super heavy at the beginning but you can sure build it up and i love these cooler colors because if i get like a deep peach or an apricot or something on my cheeks i really look funny because i have very cool undertone to my skin but this one is so good now they do have a warm one in the same thing so if you have a warm undertone i'll make sure i list that one below too but these are two of my favorite colors and then they added a third color and i was so happy to see that because again this is one of my favorite formulas and it's a really good bargain because these by themselves are pretty expensive and they are about the same size in that little palette all right i talk about this all the time and when the sales on i stock up on the Sephora lineup tape makeup tape and this is what I use to do my eyes with and it works so well you guys it doesn't tug on your eyes it just is so easy to work with so easy to place if you get it in the wrong place you can take it off it's still a little bit tacky and you can put it back on there and I just really love it so if you're one that has been wanting to do some of my tutorials with me and you see me putting on tape now's the time to stock up on the Sephora lineup makeup tape and I love this stuff and I use it almost every day in every one of my eye makeup looks okay this one is from Tarte and this is part of their holiday releases that they're having go on. And this one is $20 for three of their mini liners. One is in burgundy, one is in brown, and one is in black. And it's double-sided, which I absolutely love. And I love that they gave you all these colors too. So I'll show you the burgundy right there. And then you have this very, very fine tip, which I absolutely love. You guys, I have to have that fine tip in order for my my shaky hands not to make a mess. Not only that, it feels like in that liquid liner or that felt tip that it's juicy enough to not tug as I'm going across. I'm finding that there are so many high-end and drugstore ones that just I have to go over them and over them and this is like one swipe and I'm done and I love that it comes in all three of these colors. Okay, if you have had your eye on these Tarte blushes and the way that this is presented, I can tell you right now that I'm kind of in a whole lot of like with these. The name of it is Nine Ways to Shine and it comes in three different packages just like that. Each package you take out, it has a mirror on the top right there, and then it will either have a highlight or a blush right there. This one has a highlight, and then you twist it out, it has a blush, and then this one has a bronzer. So this could actually be used if you have a deeper skin tone. It's almost along the lines of a reddish bronzer, so you could actually use it as a blush. They're every bit as good a quality as their regular blushes, which I was really pleasantly surprised about. There's another highlighter that is a little bit different. For me, in my pale skin, it would be more of a blush topper. But again, there is another blush and there is another blush. So just think that having so many of their blush colors is so fun. I've always wanted to get their palette ones that they come out with usually this time of year, but I actually like this because you can throw one of them into your purse and not have to have a huge palette with you when you're traveling or whatever. This one again has a highlighter on the top and then two more blushes on there. So really have liked that. And I like that it has a little mirror on there too. I kind of you know a small little thing but at the same time it's nice to have so this little set is $35 and we all know that the blushes cost you a bloody ton of money normally so I feel like this was a pretty good value all right hourglass has their holiday palettes come out every year and it's their edit palettes and this one is um, just as beautiful as the other years I actually had last year's in this palette this time these two colors right here are the ambient lighting powders and they're the same colors as there was last year. So the only new ones are these four right here. 
So if you are somebody that has the one from last year and you're like, and I don't really want to just get the same ones over again, I'm going to recommend to you their new ghost palette, which is the blush one. I think I'm actually going to pick that up because I think that's a good value. I heard Mel Thompson just rave about how beautiful these blushes are. I haven't seen that in person, but I'm really excited to be able to get that during the sale because of the reason that you get blushes in there without having repeat colors. So I would say that if you've never dipped your toe into Hourglass, this might be a really great way for you to be able to do that. Next is from Fenty Beauty. This is one of their gloss bombs. I think this is such a good product. Not only does it make your lips look super juicy like the Sephora one did, but it has this fragrance. I don't even know. It's like tutti fruity or peach or I can't even nail down what this fragrance is, but this makes your lips look so juicy and so glossy. It does have a tiny bit of a white sheen in it. It doesn't come across. It just seems to just amplify whatever lipstick you're wearing. And so I was super glad when I saw the little sets that were coming out. This little set is called Baby Bomb 2 and it comes with her highlighter and it comes with one of the little gloss bombs. Now I was excited because I hadn't tried her highlighter before and this this one is in Sandcastle. Now, I will say that when I did try this, it almost seemed like it was going to, it was almost too chunky for me. But on my eyes, it's gorgeous, you guys. It is such a beautiful formula. So I'm definitely excited for it just to be an eyeshadow. But I also love the little gloss they, they have in here, and it's called Sweet Mouth. I was watching Andrea Matalano. I go, oh, you guys, I love that girl, but I can't pronounce her name. Um, but she was talking about being so excited about getting these little sets. And I was super glad to get them too, because I just love the Milk Bomb. But, but I love having a little bit of variety. So here's your variety. This is from them and it comes in this little tin and inside the little tin you get five of her gloss bombs and each of them have just a little bit of sheen to them and then right down here are the colors. These are more sheer but they have that tiny bit of luminescence to each one of them and each one of them gives a different cast on your lips except for this one right here and this one right here looks like the diamond milk but it's more of an iridescence color to it so pretty so you have the pink and nude an iridescent just sparkle you have the brown color which is so pretty on top of beige lipstick and then you have more of the peach color right here which i think is so pretty every single one of these is really beautiful on the lips and it does make your pout look so juicy so plump so yummy so i would highly recommend this fun little tin if you've kind of been wanting to see what the craze is about about the gloss bombs this is a good way for you to experience that but both of those sets are really fun the only palettes that i decided to put in this video this time was from dominique cosmetics i've fallen in love with this brand completely you guys it's such a good brand and the eyeshadows are just total quality and i absolutely love them and i have three of them that i'm going to show you very quickly i'm going to give you just a couple of swatches let me tell you just a little bit about the actual product inside very creamy very buttery blends like a dream with each other and they've chosen such great colors to go together the other thing is that i will tell you ahead of time that you are going to experience a little bit of kick up i found with just about any of the higher end palettes and you do have a little bit of kick up so this one is the latte palette if you're a neutral person that loves to just have neutral but you'd like to get into just a couple of extra pops of color the latte palette might be for you it is so fun you guys and the colors are so pretty and they go so well together you would look at this and maybe think it's a bit random but as you get to creating looks they're so different even and these three colors right here that are high metallic colors they just make such unique looks and I've just found that I have loved working with this one. The next one I'm going to show is the Rustic Glam. Rustic Glam, I was so excited because it came out with the blue colors and it's just so different than anything that I have ever seen out there just recently. It has the blue, but it also has the pinks, it has the greens, and then it also keeps you into the neutrals. And in working with this one, I just found that the looks became so different than anything that I had done before. And I just really enjoyed how it made me think more creatively about my eyeshadow looks. So 
That one I really recommend to you if you're one that really is ready to stop and just jump out of your comfort zone with neutral colors and go into colors. It's a really good one for you. And then lastly is my favorite palette and is the Berries and Cream. And the reason is, is because it just kind of stole my heart as far as the colors go. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes today as a look and it was so easy to put together. I really only used three colors in here. And I just think that it's one of those ones that no matter what you work up, you're gonna really be happy with what you get. It can run the gamut of being from the very fairest complexion to the very deepest because it does have those shades in here. I really do love the choices that they made for colors in this one because I feel like you can't really go wrong. Even if you're working only with one color or two colors in here, you're really going to get a very stunning look out of it. Something that still will keep you towards your neutral looks, but at the same time gives you a little bit more oomph than that as brown or something like that. So I really highly recommend this one. I so, love the brand. Fantastic brand as far as them being really good on their quality. So but that is one that I would highly recommend to you if you haven't thought about trying Dominique Cosmetics, give it a try. I do want to leave you with one thought about this whole video before I go, okay you guys? And that is, yes, this is only 20% off and yes, it's something that we look forward to. But if there are companies that you really like, like I love Dominique Cosmetics, so I actually got on their email list and I actually find better bargains shopping from them than I do Sephora. Now I know that the Sephora whole thing is about rouge and you know getting to that level and everything, but sometimes I can't spend that kind of money at Sephora in a year for just a few products. So actually I don't think I'm gonna hit rouge this year, I'm actually probably just gonna drop down which is fine with me because I've learned that getting on email lists for each individual company, their shipping isn't that much normally and you get way better deals and I guarantee you that you're gonna get some really good deals coming up here on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So I would really encourage you no matter what brand you like, like Dominique, Cosmetics, Fenty Beauty, Tart, whatever, I would really encourage you to get on their mailing list because I get some really great bargains, you guys, and it's how I've gotten a lot of these at a high, high discount. That's everything for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I'm going to put up right here on the screen the last video that I created. So if you haven't had a chance to look at, the, at that video, just go ahead and click on that video and I'll take you right over there and you can keep watching. I know that your time is very precious and I do appreciate you sharing it with me. Hope you all have a wonderful week or weekend wherever this hits you. I love you all very much and I'll catch you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.